If you're somebody who is thinking about changing careers or changing jobs, in this video, I've got some great tips and tricks for helping you to change industries and helping you to change jobs when you don't have any experience. Okay, let's think about this. The first thing that I want you to do is write a list of 10 companies that you would really, really love to work for. You've got to get out a sheet of paper and a pen and write a list of 10 companies. Now, number two, I want you to get on LinkedIn. Yes, LinkedIn is the app. And I want you to search those companies on LinkedIn. Now, when you search those companies on LinkedIn, you can then filter your results. I want you to filter your results by people. So what's gonna happen is you're gonna see a list of people that have got that company name for each of the 10 companies in your LinkedIn search results. Then I want you to click on the people tab. Then I want you to click on current company. Now that's gonna show you all of the people that are currently working at that company. Those could potentially, when you get a job there, be the purple people, the actual people that you're gonna be working with. Now the cool thing about LinkedIn is you've then got the opportunity to one, connect with those people. So I'd recommend you send, hit the connection button and send a nice message to each of the people. Hey, I'd really love to work at your company. I'm connecting with people so I can learn more about the organization. Now. If you want to really work at that organization, then the mindset that you have is something that may need to change. I would suggest you deploy value before you ask for value. So what does that mean? Deploying value is how can you give them some value? I would suggest the easiest way to do that is some free labor before you ask to be paid. Go in there and show them that you're enthusiastic as hell, that you wanna learn a lot about the organization and you're prepared to work there for free to prove that you're absolutely amazing and that you're going to be a great asset for their team. What is it? It's win-win. How is it a win for you? How is it a win for them? It's a win for them because it's a low risk way for them to do their due diligence on you. And for you, it's a win for you because all of a sudden you've got some experience at that organization and some experience in the industry. Now, internships are a classic formal way to do this. Now, most internships are voluntary. And internships for me are a great low risk way of actually interviewing someone and seeing what their strengths and weaknesses are, what they're passionate about. Now, for some reason in the employment world, people shy away from this. But what about high performance athletes? They go and try out for a team. So you're, what you've got to be doing, and I said change your mindset, go and try out at the company. Go and say, I'd like to come and try out at your company. I'd like to give you five business days, maybe spread them over a couple of weeks, maybe don't do them all at once. I'd like to come and try out at your company, please, because I really love the industry. I really love your organization and I really want to work there and I really know that I can add a lot of value. I'd like to come and try out, please. And an employer is going to be freaked out because what happens is, Organizations struggle to find good people and they struggle to find people that are motivated and passionate and most people say, well, I just need a job. So if you're showing that you're motivated and enthusiastic about that organization, you're already ahead of the game. Now there may not be a vacancy, but when a vacancy comes and you might not get paid at that company right now, but if you are super passionate about working in that organization, you will wait. And if you can let those people know that you exist. So it's not what you know, it's not who you know, it's who knows you. And they'll go, oh, I remember that person, they were really excited. Let's give them a call. We've got an opportunity for them right now. So let's go back to the start of the video. We said write a list of 10 companies that you'd really like to work at. Go to LinkedIn and do a search for those companies. Click people and then click current companies. Then start sending those people direct messages, connecting with those people at those 10 companies. That is how you change industries. That is how you get a job at a company that you really want to work at. And then the, ne the next thing I need to say is that patience is a virtue. There's not always opportunities, but opportunities will always go to people that are passionate, motivated, and enthusiastic, and show that they have absolute desire to be at that organization way before anybody who sits in an interview and just goes, well, I actually just need a job. So that's how we do it. Now, there are obviously lots of locations where you can look for opportunities, and you can start looking at employment platforms and job websites, but you will be in with the rest of the competition. What happens is it's like a seagull with fish and chips. 
So someone says, hey, I've got a job, I've got an opportunity, puts it up on the employment website and everybody swarms over it. And the organization is struggling to filter through all those people and they're worried about taking a risk. Have some empathy for them. When, when they advertise they've got a vacancy and they want applicants, two things happen. One, everybody flocks to it. And two, they're only the people that are available in the market or looking at that time. Now you're available in the market, you can go round all that mess and you can let an organization know that when an opportunity comes up, that opportunity is gonna be mine and I'm gonna give you some value up front so that I'm already tested, I'm already proven and I'm already known. So that's how you change industries. That's how you change careers. I've seen it work time and time again. I wish you well, let me know how you go. And if you've got any questions, about this, if you're concerned about it, if you're nervous about it, if you're nervous about this strategy, comment below. Let me know in the comments your questions and I'll reply to them and help you through that because I really want you to get a job that you really want in an industry that you really like at a place that you really love to go to each day because there's not many days on the planet that we have in terms of the rest of our life and I wanna make every single one of those days count for you. Okay, let me know how you go.